is our last day for talking about meals and snacks, and we've covered so many exercises and so much information. We just want to bring it all together today, Billy. And I have had so much fun visiting with you. I, can I come back sometime? No. Okay. Anyway, it was wonderful, and I've learned a lot. And I learned how to yodel, yole, I've learned how to slap my knee. Darn life on farm going to get back down for dumpa 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 dead back. And I've learned how to uh what about the candy? Yeah, I learned how to lie. <laughs> no, no, I did I told the truth. I didn't eat no candy. I did learn you could eat other things. Right, and don't you like apples and nanas and watermelon. We had watermelon the other day. Why do you call it nanas? Nanas, that them yellow things there that you get to grocery. Kids, it's not a nana. It's a nana. It's a banana. Banana, ba banana, 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 banana. Okay, so I have banana and pineapples. Kids, it is so important when you look at food, you have to look at it as its fuel, and that's all it is. And sometimes you have to try different foods that you don't necessarily like, but if you keep trying them and trying them, eventually you'll like them, and you gotta look at that food as it's either gonna make you better or it's gonna make you worse, and that's all it is. You gotta eat to live and not live to eat. There's such a difference in that, kids, and it's so important that you start it now so when you get to be an adult, you don't have to worry about making those hard changes because you've already established it as a kid and so what I need you to do because I know you guys are growing up and you're mature and you want to do great things just choose the right foods and I promise you you'll think better you'll act better you'll be better and that's all we want for you guys with Healthy Start we just want you to be better kids and so pick the right foods it's gonna make you better right and sometimes eat something that's not all wrapped up like, I went to a store that is a farmer that had apples on trees. You believe it? Apples on trees! Why well, do you think that? They're, they're just hanging there from the tree, and he went out, picked them, and he sold them in a little basket, and he didn't have no paper around it, just, just an apple. How do you, Wham! Where do you think they come from? The store! <laughs> Everybody knows that! Kids, you guys know that apples grow on trees, right? They have them in the store. They pick them off the tree, then they yeah, put them in the store. Did you see the guy too? He had a little stand. It was awesome. I didn't find no banana trees though. Banana farmers, they not too many of them around. Banana. See, I said it right. right real quick. Too. What's the most important meal of the day? Breakfast. All right. How many meals should you eat in a day? Ten. No. Seven. No. Six. No. Five. Yes. Yeah. Right. Five or six. Right. Five or six small meals five, in a day. Five. Five. Anything else? Eat lots of fruits and vegetables. That should be your snack. The kids want to exercise. They Let's want, do something. They want to do the mountain climber again. They want to do something different. Okay, I don't want to do that pilgrim one. Which one? The squanto. <laughs> squanto. He helped the pilgrims. Remember squanto? He I, brought him all kind of stuff in a big, like a horn of plenty or something. That's I, what the, okay. All right. Listen, kids, the most important exercise is breathing. When you get stressed out, you're getting ready to take a test, and you're all, like, stressed out, the most important thing you can do is just sit there and take a nice deep breath in and let it out. Do it four times, and it'll relax your entire body. Now, actually, you should breathe the whole whole day because <laughs> yeah. if you're not breathing then, then you're probably not gonna do real good on that test either I, I mean, you're gonna be like <laughs> you're gonna be out so breathe all day long not just four times all day long Billy you're so smart I don't know how, well, I, don't know how I, I think those teachers that teachers yeah, tell you students to breathe all day and, and night too <laughs> breathing and day and night is a good thing okay yeah, very just clear that down. Right, we go. Gotta, four you, good you, ones kids let's do them together big breath in and all the way out big breath in and all the way out Quit hitting me big breath in and all the way out <laughs> big breath in and uh, okay and then you're gonna do touch your knee what? and touch your knee all right stop 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 Ta that was uncalled for. I know you're what? not. You know what? You, you, you both be finishing the video. All right, mountain climbers, kids. Ready? All right, here we go. Feet out. Bring one foot in. And let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold out. Hold out, Billy. Eyes up. Get down there, Billy. Eyes up already. Right. Okay. Feet in. Up. Up. See, yes, Back down. Oh, my. Feet out. Oh, yeah. One leg in. Oh, yeah. Ten. 
My favorite exercise of all time is the mountain climber. Woo Challenge your parents. Yo. That's rough. Okay. Are you going to say you're sorry? For i sorry that we had to do two sets of mountain climbers. No. How about for hitting me in the back? And sorry, hit me, Dr. Brandon. Don't hit. That's not good. Eat fruits and vegetables and not as much candy. Be healthy all day, all the time. Food is fuel. You only get one chance to do it right, kids. Do it right. Because do you want to be average or do you want to be great? Let me hear you. You got it. Great no job. Hitting. No hitting. No hitting. Stop it. See you guys next week. I'll get somebody else here. I promise. Have a great weekend.